I'm so excited for this award show. I know, everything's been so strange since the past year. I miss seeing my favorite stars. There have been so many amazing things. I cannot wait to see who wins the next time. I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk about starting. Where's the remote? I don't know. demonstrating the Lancer Pride. Awards include achieving academically, initiating action, promoting a positive attitude, and the prestigious overall awesomeness. We've got a great show for you, including backstage interviews, musical guests, and a special announcement from our social justice committee. And, and now, the awards of initiating action. Please welcome our next presenters, Lily Murphy and Justice Perrin. Initiating action. This go-getter is such a rock star when she is passionate about things. She gets it done. She's been published multiple times in the newspaper, is one of the founding members of the school, the school's brand new social justice committee, advocates for change, and supports her peers, and cares about all of the big issues going on in the world around us. We're so proud of you. We can't wait to see what we have in store for the future. It is an honor to celebrate and recognize this hardworking and stellar seventh grade leader on the team outcome. She orchestrated multiple dance routines, routines for a Lancer Pride and Noya event recently choreographed the holiday dance for our final 2021 Team Alpha celebration. She continually takes the lead, models exemplary behavior, and makes the most of each day of the world we are She is an absolute gem. Congrats to Paris Minosh. This student bounces around Team Nova like a ball of public energy. When something needs to be done, she's a first one out of her seat, ready to learn the help and help happily. Her kind and fun demeanor lifts spirits and motivates others to join in. We look forward to all future positive contributions and inspired ideas of Alexa McLean. This student has been a great help to their teachers when everyone else is busy getting ready to go. Cleaning up trash, picking up chairs, and being on top of their homework, Emmett's period is our pick for initiating action. And 
the applied academics classes, some students wait to be asked to help others, while some see a need and step in and take trouble. This student has always shown her kindness towards others, asking, asking who needs a partner or who needs some extra help. She is a great helping. She's great at helping in all aspects of the classroom. Thanks, Emily Students, for initiating. And now for a special message from Miss Maurice. Greetings, students, staff, and LUMS families. This has been a difficult couple of years, but if we continue to preserve and demonstrate a commitment to maintaining a safe and respectful environment, we will all make it through this year stronger and better. It is important to remember that a little kindness and care can go a long way to making this school the best in Vermont. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules as well as I. A full commitment is what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other principal. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never going to tell a lie and hurt you. Even when we 
going gets tough. We're promoting a positive attitude award goes to Nova's Dakota Jones. This young man begins and ends every class with a wonderful attitude. He is always happy and kind and brings sunshine to every room he walks into. The applied academics are pleased to present Peyton DeMar with the Positive Attitude Award. In these trying times, a little positivity can go a very long way. This particular student provides a lot of positivity everywhere they go. They're upbeat, funny, and a wonderful addition to any classroom. Team Alpha is proud to present the promoting a positive attitude award to Lila Blanchard. Big round of applause for our winners. Please welcome Zeta, Lily, and Drew for presenting the Lungs Social Justice Committee. It's a wonderful opportunity to get involved right here in our school community. I'm Lily Murphy, the president. I'm Drew Throney, the vice president. And I'm Zeta Whitlock, the secretary. We are part of the Social Justice Committee. Our committee encourages everyone to treat each other with mutual respect and kindness. You may have seen our posters around school. The Social Justice Committee has worked very hard the past couple of weeks to bring our group together. We want our group to be open for all to join. Many people still have to fight against racism, homophobia, anti-Semitism, etc. With the help from everyone in our community, we can make a change and help speak for those who can. Whether you think it's big or small, any respectful actions are major to help change our world for the better. You can make a difference. The Social Justice Committee is open to new students. We welcome anyone that would like to take part in repairing our school culture. Many egregious and unnecessary actions have hurt others. These actions should be prevented. A way you can prevent these actions is by joining our social justice committee. We will teach you about student-to-student -student respect and student-to-staff respect. We will address violence towards people and learn how to treat everyone with mutual kindness and empathy. Email Maria Davies if you are interested in joining. This committee is student and youth-led. We have also hung posters around the middle school about our committee. This is a chance to turn the hurtful actions into positive, respectful actions. We will also be meeting every Tuesday. Further information will be provided once we have more members. You will receive a free pin if you join. The pin design is the same as our posters. We look forward to working with you. It has come to our attention that most people only know about the Christmas holiday, when really there are many different holidays celebrated in December. One is Boxing Day. Boxing Day is celebrated in Great Britain. It's a holiday to give gifts to the poor. Nowadays, it's more of a day of buying presents or gifts. On this day, there are um, there is almost always a boxing match on television. Another holiday is Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday. The days Hanukkah is celebrated always change based on the Jewish calendar. Hanukkah is celebrated any time between the end of November to any time in December. There are eight days and eight nights of Hanukkah. You celebrate Hanukkah at sundown by lighting the menorah and saying the prayers and then usually getting a gift of some kind. The menorah is a multi-branch candle. Hanukkah is celebrated because a small but mighty Maccabee family beat a giant army to save the Jewish people. After the fight, the Jewish people of 168 BC thought the oil in the Great Temple would only last one day. The oil ended up lasting for eight whole days. That is the miracle of Hanukkah and why it is celebrated for eight days straight. An important message of Hanukkah is that we must always work to find light in the darkness and we must always work to keep the light of religious freedom burning for all people for all time. Another holiday celebrated in December is Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is celebrated around the world. It starts on December 26th and ends on January 1st. January... Kwanzaa means first in Swahili, and it signifies the first fruits and harvest. A very special part of Kwanzaa is the wedding ceremony. It starts with the elder of the family pouring wine or juice into the unity cup, and then saying honorable words about the family members that have passed. After, the elder takes a sip from the unity cup and passes it around to everyone to also have a sip. The elder then leads the call harambi, which means all pull together. Everyone participates in saying the phrase seven more times. Afterward, they light the candles. 
The candles are placed in a certain order. The black candle is placed in the center of the canora and represents the color of African skin. The three red candles stand for the blood of their ancestors and are placed on the left. The three green candles sim symbolize earth, life, and ideas and promise to the future and are placed on the right. Every night, starting on December 26th, one candle is lit by the center candle. Each day, a different candle is lit, alternating from the left to right. Lastly, there is a holiday called Diwali. Diwali was celebrated for the Hindu people on November 4th of this year. People celebrate Diwali by lighting little earthen oil lamps to mark the victory of light over darkness. Many people in India will light these lamps outside their homes to symbolize the inner light that protects them from spiritual darkness in tune with the holiday that is an ode to the triumph of good over evil. In conclusion, we, have, we hope everyone can take something from this and always remember that people may be going through so much more than you actually see. Our main goal in this group is to make sure that everyone feels like they belong. We're each unique in our own way, and that's what makes you, you. The Social Justice Committee strongly believes in making sure everyone feels respected and welcome in our community. The Social Justice Committee also works very hard to bring people together and hope everyone will feel like they are in a safe environment to express themselves the way they are. We believe it is important to bring more social justice into our school community, even by just listening to our speech and taking our ideas into consideration. If you're interested in joining us, please do. All are welcome. And now for the awards of Achieving Academically. Please welcome our next presenters, Winter Deslarier and Athena Bickford. Our first award is for achieving a deck academic. This enthusiastic student is always ready for a challenge. She is organized, manages her time well, concentrates on the task at hand, is motivated for success, and is never scared to learn something new. Congratulations, Lily Lynn Goyes, for achieving academic. So for our next Achieving Academically Award, this, the transition from elementary school to middle school can be daunting for many students, especially managing new and different academic expectations. This seventh grade student arrived in late August with a strong sense of her strengths and a willingness to improve them further. She gets right after every learning task that comes her way and actively seeks to continue to improve. Team Nova is pleased to recognize Phoebe Ziegerhofer for achieving academically. Uh, turning in your homework is only part of your achieving academically. Effort, drive, and determination all contribute to the risk of rise of excellence. This student has not only been turning things in, but they have also been knocking it out of the park. And Finney would like to recognize Ace Talman for achieving academically. as well as on the basketball court. This student is as diligent and dedicated as they come and has what it takes to succeed. He listens intently during class, follows directions, works hard, and delivers. The Alpha team would like to congratulate Grayson Strideberg for achieving academically. This student takes their education seriously and is committed to excellence. They have asked great questions and always challenge themselves to take their learning to the next level. They demonstrate an aptitude to think critically and have no fear of stepping up in the class, as a classroom leader. As a true Lancer, keep leading the charge, Zeta Whitman. Our next award is for Achieving What would you like this Christmas? I said, what do you want? What do you need this Christmas? What do you want? What would you like for Christmas? What do you need? What are you wishing for? Nevermore. We need to be together somehow. Hanging 
had dreams for Christmas. And my hope and my dream is we all get our wish this year. So much a kiss on the mistletoe, side by the fire in the warm winter glow. All we need is love this Christmas. Wow, powerful stuff. Agreed. Please welcome back Winter and Athena for the Overall Awesomeness Awards. And now for our Overall Awesome Awards. This person unfortunately wasn't here to receive their award, but if awesomeness were a color, Team Nova is sure that color would be fluorescent orange. Though officially this student's second year on team, last year's remote contact was just a prelude to how awesome he really is. This student wants to be right in the middle of every learning opportunity and truly moves this world with a sense of wonder and awe. Whether pontificating on the virtues of his favorite U.S. presidents or just rallying his classmates to clean up at the end of the day, this student brings awesome to a new level. Team Nova is pleased to have and recognize Frankie Martel. This sweet kid has been the blood of champions and is 100% ready to get things done. Helping a student in need, going above and beyond, being polite, even when, even when and especially when they don't have to. Talia so sang with Dosh. His team of good these top choice for overall awesomeness. This alpha eighth grader is calm, kind, and a friend to all. He takes pride in everything that he does and is, he is always willing to help out a peer. He is well liked by his peers and perhaps one of the nicest students on our team. Don't even try to compete with him when it comes to solving a Rubik's Cube. For overall awesomeness, Team Alpha would like to recognize Sawyer Thibodeau. The student is always ready to help out on task and a rowing champion. She is a fantastic student too. The Pi academic teachers are pleased to present the overall awesome world to this highly deserving student. Congratulations to ja Jasmine Florent Pucci. You are, you are awesome. Keep up the amazing work and stupendous attitude. This wonderful student on Team Extreme is often a model for what an engaged, funny, and friendly student looks like. This student always goes above and beyond, asks any question they need answered, and often assists other students to make sure that everyone in class can conceive. It is a great pleasure that we on Team Extreme award the Overall Awesomeness Award but this time to the 7th grader Monica Lowry. Congratulations to the winner of this year's Overall Awesome Award. So, the Applied Academics team is here with the latest update on the Golden Plunger Challenge. As you can see behind us, right now, Team Extreme is in the lead with 30 points. Nova, 25. Infinity 20, Alpha 15, but all of that will change in a moment. First, which team used the library best this past quarter? Who had the most checked out books and the least overdue books? That would be Team Nova for five points. The lunchroom has been quite exciting quarter two, but the team that did the best with their behavior in the lunchroom and had the fewest lunchroom referrals is Team Infinity for five points. Earlier this week, people were checking iPads and we really randomly chose four students from each team to find out whose team had the best iPad charging. Team Infinity had 307%. Nova, 267%, Alpha, 263%, and coming in first, Team Extreme with 332% for five points. We were incredibly excited about the enthusiasm that the food drive presented with teams, and it came down right to the wire today. 
We are also really excited and proud of the amount of food that went to the three food shelves in our area. We'd like to thank Team Nova for bringing in 179 items. They will receive five points. Team Alpha, 190 items. They will receive 10 points. Team Infinity, 705 items for 15 points. And Team Extreme takes the 20 points with only four more items in Team Infinity, coming up to 709. Finally, the main challenge is the Christmas tree decoration using balloons. It was a very, very close race. The judges were looking at the creativity of the tree, the quality of the ornaments that were made, the quality of the slideshow presented, and also the variety of the pictures that were on the slideshow. We gave each criteria five points, each judge scored separately, and we came up with a team total. Alpha came in at 81 points. They're getting 10 points for their efforts. Team Nova, 98 points with a score of 15. It's unbelievable. Both Team Extreme and Team Infinity, with our panel of independent judges, gave them 105 points equally. Both of them tied once again for first place with 20 points apiece. That means the mini golden plunger goes to my mathematician behind me. Extreme. Whoa! Team Extreme with 75 points. Team Infinity 60 points for quarter two. Nova 50 and Team Alpha 35. Next is the Street Fighter Award. Living on Team Nova quarter one. But this quarter, the applied teachers were super impressed with the enthusiasm of Team Infinity. So the Street Fighter will go and fly up to Team Infinity for quarter two. Stay tuned for quarter three when there's a whole new set of opportunities. Hi there, this is Darcy Fletcher and my beautiful assistant, Julie Moran. And we're here to do the raffles for the Lancer Pride swag. I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! Back off. <laughs> Too early, girl. All right, anyways, we will be drawing names and giving um, the what we have to offer are these vintage uh, bags, uh, backpacks, from donated from the high school athletics program. And Miss Stokes from the middle school athletic program. So Julie, would you do the honors? First one goes to Macy Clark. Macy Clark from Extreme. Another one. Alyssa Small is Alyssa the second one. Alyssa Small, Nova, I believe. Yes. These will come in handy, packs lots of books. Mallory Matibier Makes. Mallory Matibier Makes. Woohoo! Keep going. We've got tons of these bags. Alexander Bolio. Woohoo! You're doing such a great job. Addison Roland Manning. Roland Manning. Jackson Ho. Uh, Ho. Jackson Ho. Another Nova one. Coco McGrail! Coco from Infinity. I'm gonna do it to apply Emily Mandy. <laughs> Avery DeMag! Avery DeMag, another Infinity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. Digging in. Whoa, oh, throw them, throw them all over the floor. All it's up. really hard to find good help. It is. <laughs> Sebastian Prevost! Yay! And one more. Thomas Sullivan. Woohoo! 
So these students, we have Macy Clark and Alyssa Small and Mallory Mativier Miggs and Alexander Bolio, Roland Banning, Jackson Hogue, Caroline McGrail, Avery DeMag, Sebastian Prevost, and Thomas Sullivan. Come on down and get your get swag. Your swag. A big congratulations to all our award winners. We hope you had a good time and thank you for joining us. <laughs> that was great. I loved the music. Oh my gosh, I knew Peyton Mars didn't win the award. I wonder what it takes to be nominated. Well, demonstrating lit pride, always trying your best and trying to maintain a positive attitude. Yeah, I was thinking about seeing what the social justice community is all about. I've often wondered how I can initiate action and become a more involved community member. Maybe I will too. Maybe we'll all be on the stage next time. <laughs>